To me, Caribou Ranch represented to the world a Colorado experience. The biggest artist in the world at the time coming together on a ranch and making music that lasts forever. You know, I still today uh, put on an oldies channel and every 10 minutes there's something that was done up here. We had a lot of number ones out of this studio. This was Bridge Over Troubled Waters. Bessie Smith, though, I didn't know. That. Bessie Smith's piano. From a technological standpoint, it had, had everything one would get in New York and in Los Angeles. But it was here at 8,600 feet in the middle of the Rocky Mountains. We would be recording in February and two feet of snow, and or we would be recording in August, and we'd be, you know, take a break and go horseback riding, or go up and uh, just walk in the fields. This building is 1905 or something. Yeah. Wow. In those days, it isn't like now. People didn't come to the Rocky Mountains. Bands would show up here with tiny platform shoes on or whatever, and we'd have to give them parkas, snowmobile boots, big gloves, because when they showed up here in January and the wind was blowing 60 miles an hour, um, it was shocking, <laughs> especially the bands that came here from England. They always wrote something very funny, and if you look at some of these signatures, they're joking, especially Chicago, Jim's band. It was an environment that people felt they could be themselves. Being themselves, not always the spotlight of L.A. You walk out of a studio in L.A. and the paparazzi or whatever's going on here, you could be yourself. This is uh, the room John Lennon stayed in when Elton was in that room. When John Lennon came, everybody was in awe, including Jim Gersio. <laughs> I mean, we were all, really, John Lennon's here. We could not believe it. And he was just the coolest, warmest, mellowest guy with a great sense of humor. Having Stevie Wonder here, um, when Jim and him were in a Jeep and Stevie pretended he was driving the Jeep and Jim was really working the gas pedal and the, and the steering wheel. We didn't look at them like they were the big stars that they were. You've kind of forgot after a while that they were such icons. So Elton did all his rock stuff on this yeah. piano. You, you could be in this beautiful place, but you could be sitting here worried about did you finish the lyric? Can I play the part? Am I going to be able to perform this properly? Is the band going to be together enough to do it? So amidst all of it, there was a lot of pressure. And then we had the fire, and I said... I was not here when the studio uh, finally closed and caught fire. Thank God I wasn't here, because I don't know if I could have taken it. And I don't know how Jim could even, you know, conceive the, the, the pressure that that brought on after that, because the studio was closed. And that was it, you know. But as you look at it today, it looks the same and the vibe is still there. I can still hear the people, the, the sounds, the ghostly images that are here now.